Pushing out campers living there for months is really pushing the homeless now into other neighborhoods, as Lisa Balick found out today. She joins us live from the Springwater Trail. Lisa? Jeff, it's not moving day out here just yet at Southeast 97, but it's coming up pretty soon. Although we did see a lot of campers have cleared out from this area, they are moving out. The question is, where are they headed? When you go out here, be very careful you don't step in anything. 85-year-old Neva Ashenburner took me out back of her house bordering the Springwater Trail where we avoided dead rats and feces on the ground to watch campers packing up. Where do you think these people are all going to go? I wish they'd go down the Mare's front yard. I have no idea where they're going to go. It's, it's pitiful. She's lived here for 40 years, but it's only in the last few that she's endured thefts, noise, garbage, and a view she's afraid will return. It'll be gone for the first couple of weeks, but I think they'll be right back. I really do. With no designated place to go, hundreds moving off the trail are relying on their networks to find another campsite. We found a growing number of RVs suddenly parked on southeast Portland streets. People inside told me they're now permanently parked. They have no place else to go. We also found tent and car camping like this, where those struggling to pay rent in nearby apartments watch others camp out in front, littering with garbage, needles, and other debris. Have you, I assume you've called police. Have they been able uh, to get anybody They're here to move? every day. They arrest people daily, and they get them to move, and as soon as they're gone, they run right back here, and they only use the space. Like I said, they're not using it just to sleep and get up and look for jobs. They're selling drugs all night long, um, breaking into cars. And I learned some are headed to other recreation areas in the city that are more out of sight, where they believe they can stay for the winter. Now, I've gotten several people contacting me on Twitter asking me, how do people who live in a tent end up with so much stuff like this? And the answer I found out from talking to people is they find friends with cars, bring it here, and unfortunately leave it behind with them at a cost dimension of hundreds of thousands of dollars for the city to clean up. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin